Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a July wrap up. I'm sorry again. I feel so bad. I freaking planned a complete schedule for the month of July and just this month has been kind of crazy so I'm sorry for the lack of videos but we're gonna be better than ever in August and I know I keep on saying that so I'm sorry. I just try to use my iPad and it's dead so we're gonna try to pull out my laptop really fast. Like the lighting's getting weird in here so I apologize but the first book I read this month was A Court of Mist and Fury. I started my reread in June with A Court of Thorns and Roses of course. Of course it is freaking five stars. I love the book. It gets better every time I reread it. Um, and yeah, like I said, five stars. The next one I read was Barbarian's Mate, and I actually published a reading blog for this one. I have continued to... I have been reading every book when it is republished or published as a physical book, because if you didn't know, these books were all digital books, I'm pretty sure. Now that Berkeley has bought the rights to it or whatever, they are publishing um, actual print covers and it's so fun. I do one of these every six months and they're always so fun. They're always three stars. Very interesting. Um, yes, the smut is like, there's a lot of it, but it's also a very fun sci-fi and romance and it's just so interesting. And I've been seeing a lot of memes about it because since the U.S. confirmed aliens are real, people have been making jokes, and if you know, you know. I also read Red Rising. This was actually five stars. This is my boyfriend's favorite book, and I finally read it. He's been begging me to read it for months now, and I finally did. I actually, uh, I actually buddy read this with my friend Sina. I don't know if Sina watches these, but Sina, if you do watch them, thank you for encouraging me to read it because this was phenomenal. I have never read a book like this with a male lead and I will say it did kind of discourage me for a little bit but once you're in the story oh my gosh it's it's incredible it's amazing and I can't wait I can't wait to read the second book which is Golden Sun and I think Sina and I are going to do another buddy read. So yeah five stars incredible um and yeah I've just been reading a lot of books on my Kindle that being Fake Dates and Ice Skates. I saw this on TikTok I saw like a little blurb and decided to read it. I ended up reading it three stars. The reason that I rated this three stars stars even though it was independently published you can tell that there's no editor um is in my opinion I thought it was much better than Icebreaker. I did not like icebreaker at all i feel like i said that in a couple reviews ago but it just was not my cup of tea i love the idea of the trope i love the hockey player and ice skater that just sounds amazing but icebreaker to me was just not good and although fake days and ice skates isn't like top quality the best book i've ever read i did think they did the trope better than the other book so that's why i rated it three stars i would love to see it being I would love to see it reworked also to just like cut it a little bit and it's the timing was a little bit off but other than that it was good i would recommend it if you were looking for an ice skater x hockey player romance then i read done and dusted i read the chestnut spring series in june and i loved it and so when i saw recommendations of done and dusted i was like i have to read this read it at five stars it's incredible i just love the small town country cowboy horses whatever the ranch life i just love it so much and so if you like the chestnut spring series definitely recommend this one it was amazing five stars and my dark romeo my friend autumn um who actually i work with she is is a huge fan of Sarah Crowley. Her and I talk about it all the time at work and she brought up My Dark Romeo and I kind of my battery died so if it changed I'm so sorry but anyways I was talking about My Dark Romeo. I kind of forgot that that was Sarah Crowley's or one of Sarah Crowley's favorite books and so I read it. I actually ended up reading it three stars and honestly I think I could have even rated it higher maybe like a three and a half stars. It is a dark romance but it's definitely Guys, my second battery just died and this one is also blinking, so we're gonna try to back. It has been hours since I last talked to you. First off, all three of my camera batteries that I have somehow died. It also started thunderstorming and it is finally time that one of my batteries is charged. So we're gonna try to finish off this video. Um, I believe that I was talking about My Dark Romeo, which I was talking about how I had forgot that that was one of Sarah Caroli's favorite videos or favorite videos no favorite books and I ended up reading it I rated it three stars but I honestly feel like I could rate it about three and a half stars I thought it was pretty good um we're just gonna continue on because it's 
I'm past my bedtime and I need to edit this. But anyways, I read that. I also read The Chemist. I read this because this is my friend Anna's favorite book or she told me it was one of her favorite books. So I read it and I annotated it for her 22nd birthday, which was July 29th. And so, um, yeah, I rated that one three stars. It was actually pretty good. It was by Stephanie Meyer, which if you don't, which if you don't know, um, Twilight is my favorite series ever, favorite book, favorite movie, even though I know guys that it's not good. I am aware of that, but I just am obsessed with it. Um, same author, and it was pretty interesting. Definitely not as good as Twilight, in my opinion. I thought the pacing was really weird, and some things just didn't make sense, but it was still very fun. Two books that I read this month, which I actually haven't finished the second book, but I'm hoping I will, is The Serpent and the Wings of Night and then The Ashes and the Star Curse King. It's got pretty popular, I don't know, in May, I think. The first book, five stars. I think the second one is also going to be five stars. I know that there is one novella published currently and then there's going to be four other books in the series, but they kind of fo focus on a different, like, faction they're not called factions they're called houses so two books focus on um a different house if that makes sense but i really like the series it's giving everything that i love in a fantasy it's giving enemies to lovers it's giving like i said vampires it's giving there's a moment when they're sucking each other's blood and i don't know what it is about vampires but i just love it it's so intimate and it's so good and also the main character areha that's how I've been pronouncing it in my head, but I don't know if that's correct. She's so awesome, and I just love her character so much. But yeah, those are all the books I read this month. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know what you guys read in the month of July. Let me know what you're reading next month for August. I'm really excited. I need to pick out some good books. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace and love. Bye, guys.